The class is finally over. I had a hard day studying and have a lot of homework to do. I should go home soon. I will make dinner for my parents. Clean the house, then do the homework. Charles, are you ready to go home? Yes. What's wrong? Did you want me to help you do something? No. Go to my office immediately. I have something to tell you. Why do you look so serious? Can we talk in here? I said no. It's very important. Go to my office now. Oh no! What did I do? If I do something wrong, my parents will be very angry. I need to find out what I've done and whether saying sorry can be forgiven. In teacher's office. You are here. I've been waiting for you. Teacher, did I do something wrong? I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? I swear I will never do that again. What are you talking about? I think you misunderstood something. Actually, you got the best score on your midterm exam last time. So the school wants to give you a reward for your efforts. You will get a scholarship and a reward worth one thousand dollars. Oh my God! Really? You scared me. I thought I had done something terrible. By the way, congratulations! Next week, please invite your parents to come here. We will have a celebration of excellent students. You and your parents should come give the speech and receive the award. Yeah, thank you. I will ask my parents to come with me. One more thing I want to tell you is about Susan. Is she your sister? She should focus more on studying. I can see that her grades are really bad right now. Oh, I will tell her about that. If you don't have anything to say, I have to go now. Sure. See you at the awards ceremony. At Charles's house. Mom, Dad, I have a surprise for you. Dad, Dad, listen to me. Can you turn off your television for a while? You are so annoying. Didn't you see I was watching my favorite show? Get out of here. Don't bother me. Oh, um, I'm so sorry, Mom. I have got good news for you. Let's talk about it later. Why are you late today? Hurry up and make dinner. I'm hungry. You can't let your mom and sister go hungry. I, I understand. I will prepare dinner right now. So, what do you want to say? You've been rambling for a while now. My midterm exam results are the highest in school. So I won an award given by the school. They wanted our family to attend the award ceremony and give a speech. So can you go with me? I really want you to participate in that event. You made me think that you were going to say something cool. It turns out you're going to brag about your achievements. Just like that. Is this something to be happy about? If you didn't study well, I wouldn't let you go to school, get a scholarship, and pay your own tuition. That's right. I don't want to spend too much money on you. How about me? Do you want to spend money on me? Of course, my girl. You are my princess. I can buy anything you want. Really? Can we go shopping next week? I want to go with you. Sure. Why not? But I am your son too. I studied really hard to receive this award. Please, you just need to spend one day with me. No, I can't go. I have to handle my business. Neither can I. I will go shopping with Susan. Have fun with the reward. Now be quiet and finish your meal. I, I got it. I'm sorry. You still have a lot of unfinished housework. Hurry and finish it. But mom, I have a lot of homework to do. Can you help me do it? It will be over soon if we do it together. Ask for Susan's help. I don't want to do it. Susan, can you help me with housework? It's really easy. Hell no! I'm a princess, and princess doesn't do housework. Just do it by yourself. I have to talk with my friend. Wait! I heard the teacher say that your grades are very bad. You should focus on your studies. It's none of your business. Even if I don't focus on it. What do you do? Tell your parents. Ha ha! They won't believe you because I am their favorite child. I'm your brother. I know what is good for you. If you study hard, it will help you a lot in the future. I don't care. You are wasting my time. My parents don't care about me. My sister doesn't listen to me. But what can I do? They are my family, and I still love them. I'm going to university next year. I think I should study hard to earn scholarship money and get some part-time jobs. That way, I can earn my own tuition without making my parents work hard. Hayes, Susan, what should I do with her? She needs to focus on studying more. One day. Hey, Charles, you are still working hard as always. Hi, boss. What's wrong? 
Do you need my help? No. Today is your payday. I'm here to give you money. Oh, I forgot about it. Thank you so much. But I think it's more than usual. Are you wrong? Just take it. You've worked so hard. I will be very sad to hear that you will quit your job here to go to university. But try to study well. You will definitely succeed in the future. I'm gonna miss you. You're the best boss ever. I've already saved quite a bit of money. Maybe it'll be enough for me to pay for my college tuition. I need to keep the money carefully. I can't let it go. It would be horrible if I lost this money. I worked so hard to earn it. Charles, Susan, come down here. We have something to tell you. Oh, Dad is calling me. I need to go down. We are here, Dad. What do you want to tell us? Can you speak quickly? I'm busy with makeup. My company is having a hard time lately, so I won't be able to stay at home often. Also, because my financial situation is not stable, so I can't give you pocket money. I'm so sorry. It's okay, Dad. I'm still fine without it. What? No way. You can't do that with me. Just cut the part of Charles. I still have many things to buy. Honey, it's just for a while. After this time, you can buy anything you want. Still no. I need my money. I don't want to talk with you anymore. Oh no. What should we do with her? She must be so sad. Don't worry, Mom. I will take care of her. She will be fine. Thank you, son. We are sorry for not taking care of you before. You don't need to say sorry. I know you work hard for this family, and I love you. So take care of yourself, Susan, and I can take care of each other. In Susan's class. How can they cut my pocket money? I need to buy clothes, make up. Ugh, this is annoying me. Hi, girl. Look what I have got. A new iPhone 14. My boyfriend bought it for me because he knows I like it. Oh, you are the happiest girl in the world. It's not like me. I don't have any boyfriends. Thank you. Oh, I see that you have a new bag, haven't you? I think it's the latest model from Dior. My mom bought it for me when she came back from a European tour. She bought me many presents, but I can't bring them all here. How about you, Sessie? I see you got a huge bag from Sephora. Ah, oh, I feel kind of boring at home. So me and my sister went to the mall for shopping. She bought me a lot of stuff, and I don't know how much money we spent. It's funny. They go to school with all that stuff, definitely to show off. They are just trying to get attention from another person. Huh, I won't care about them. Oh, Susan, were you here just now? I guess it's because you're so faint that I didn't notice. Haha, <laughs> I didn't notice you too. I haven't seen you bragging about your family lately. What happened? What? What do you mean? My family is still fine. I just don't want to talk about them too much. Oh, really? So I thought your family went bankrupt. Haha, <laughs> no way. You've got a good imagination. So, have you bought anything recently? Can you show them to us? I, I don't bring anything. I put all of them at home. You're always the most trendy in class, so I really want to see your stuff. I bet that you will have a new phone, a new bag, new clothes. Yeah, I, I got all of them. I just bought them a few days ago. How about tomorrow? Can you bring it here? Yeah, she's right. I want to see your stuff too. We can change our stuff with each other. Oh, that sounds great. How do you think? Sure, I would love to. Sorry, but I need to go to the restroom. You guys just keep talking. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Oh my god, what should I do? I shouldn't lie like that. Now, what do I do with the money to buy things? I think those girls are trying to trick me. I can't lose them. I will ask my parents for money. I don't care that they are having a hard time. I need my money back. In Susan's house. Mom, Dad, where are you? I met some girls in school today and they are really annoying. They show off the things they have and even try to provoke me. I can't be worse than them. I want to go shopping. Hey, did you guys hear me? Damn, they are not at home. They are too busy. I need the money now. I will call them. Mom, where are you? I need money now. I'm at the company. What's wrong? I said I needed money. I need you to transfer money to me immediately. Sorry, honey. 
I have an important meeting. I will call you back. What? Mom? Mom? Ugh. How dare she turn off the phone? What should I do now? If I don't have anything, they will laugh at my face. No way. I can't let this happen. I need to do something. Oh right. I remember. Charles has savings. I remember that he kept them in his room. That money will be mine. Where does he keep them? I have to find it quickly before he gets home. Oh my god. I found it. No way. This is a lot of money. How can he get that? Did our parents silently give him money but not me? That's not fair, so this money is mine too. I can buy anything I want with this money. 30 minutes later. Susan, I'm home. What do you want for dinner? Is she not home yet? This is strange. She is never late. I'll go to my room and wait for her to come back. I just got paid for another part-time job today. Why is my door opened like this? I remember closing it before I left. Maybe it's the wind or I forgot to close the door. I should check how much money I have. I think I've made enough. Where is the box? I don't see it. It's always here. Okay, calm down. Maybe I just put it in another place. I should check around. Oh my god, where did it go? This can't happen. Did someone take it? No way. Only me and Susan are at home. No one else can take it. Hey, Charles, where are you? I'm hungry. Have you finished cooking dinner yet? Susan is home. I should ask her. Maybe she will know something. Susan, Susan, oh my god, you are here. What? You are so loud. Have you seen my savings money box? I've looked everywhere but can't find it. Wait, what are you holding? Where do you get the money to buy them? Maybe not yet. Yeah, I took your money to buy this. How can you hide this from me? This is really big money. Thanks to that money, I bought a lot of things. And I also bought you some things, it's your money anyway. Hey, why don't you say anything? No, it can't be true. You can't take my money like that. Did you spend all that money? Yeah, can't you see I buy a lot of stuff here. The girls in class provoked me by saying that I didn't have a brand name. So I'll show them that I can afford to buy those things. Are you crazy? How can you steal my money? Did you know how hard I study and work to make this money? And now you take this from me without saying any word. How dare you yell at me? It's your money? That's ridiculous. I know our parents gave it to you. And I only take back what belongs to me. It's my money, not yours. I had to save for a long time to get it. I had to compete for a scholarship with someone else. I had to do a lot of part-time jobs at the same time just to make money. Yet you dare to open your mouth to say it's your money. Have you earned any money or spent all day squandering? It's just money. What's so serious? When our parents return home I will tell them to give it back to you, okay? Now, just stop it and make dinner for me. Don't you understand what I say? I can't stay with you anymore. You are really stupid. How dare he curse me? What a fool. Whatever. I have got everything I need in here. Should I take a picture and post it on Instagram? Haha. <laughs> Everyone will envy me. All my money is gone. I don't know what to do now. Maybe my chance to go to university is over. I really want to run away from this place. Oh my god, someone please call the police. There's been an accident here. Boy, are you okay? I think he passed out. What's happened? I just felt something hit me. So I will die? Can I go to heaven? Was I being too harsh on Susan just now? Maybe I'll forgive Susan. After all, she's my little sister. I miss my parents. I wish I could see them for the last time. In the hospital. Doctor, is my son okay? He is really lucky. He only suffered a minor injury and broke his left leg. Other than that, there is no danger. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Maybe he'll wake up in a little while if you need anything. Give me a call. Yeah, I understand. Thank you again. Mom, Dad, is that you? Oh, Charles, are you awake? Do you feel pain anywhere? Where am I? Did I die? What happened? You were in the hospital. You got into a traffic accident, but luckily you were only slightly injured. Charles, did something happen? 
Why did you run away only to have such an accident? I called Susan but she didn't pick up. Did something happen between you and Susan? Um, nothing. We're just arguing a bit. Don't lie to me. You better tell me all the truth. Yeah, tell us the truth. Maybe we can help you. I found out that Susan stole all my savings to go shopping. In my anger, I scolded her and left. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. What did you just say? She stole your savings. She must be crazy. How can she do that? You don't need to say sorry. It's not your fault. We've spoiled her too much. She needs a lesson for her actions. But why do you need to save money? Do we let you lack anything? No, mom. I just want to save money to go to college. I don't want to see you work hard. Thank you for thinking of us. But from now on you don't need to worry anymore. Our work has calmed down again. You can go to college. We will take care of you. Really? Thank you so much. I'm so happy. One week later. Oh my god. You are finally home. Charles, go make dinner. I'm starving. Susan, that's not how you talk to your brother. Dad, what are you talking about? Why are you suddenly on his side? You, what did you say to them? I, I don't say anything. Mom and Dad, can we skip this thing? We know everything and, and your actions are unacceptable. Do you understand what you did? Don't you owe him an apology? What? No way. I will never say sorry to him. This isn't my fault. That's because he brought it on himself. Susan, that's enough. You can't stay like this forever. From now on, help your brother with the housework and focus on your studies. Mom, you guys can't do that with me. If you complain again, I'll cut your park up money. That's not fair. Why do I need to do this? You guys are change. Mom, Dad, I'm fine. Please forgive her this time. No, son, she's old enough to take responsibility for what she did. Susan, listen to me. I will give you a chance. If you can get in on the midterm test, I will forgive what you did. But if you can't do that, you will be detained for a week. That's your punishment. What? How can I have an A? It's impossible. Just ask your brother for help. I won't say it again. Do you understand? Fine. I got it. Good, Charles. You can go to your room. You must be tired. Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry. We need to go back to the company to settle everything. Take care of each other. Don't worry. I will help you with your studies. It's really easy if you spend your time on it. I don't need you to worry. Get out of my sight. I know you are mad at me, but please hear me this time. No, I hate you. Get out. The next day. Oh my god, Susan is studying. That's weird. Yeah, what is going on? I have never seen you study before. Ugh, my parents force me to do this. If I don't follow, they will cut my money. Poor you. I know you don't like studying because you are dumb. What? Anyway, I have a way to help you. Really? Tell me about this. This is the secret document for the upcoming midterm exam. You just need to follow what is written here. You will definitely get a good score. Where do you get that? Can I believe you? Of course. 100% guaranteed success. Oh my god. Thank you so much. If it really helps me, I'll take you shopping as if I'm paying you. Sure. They look so familiar. They seem to be Susan's classmates. I should ask them about Susan. Oh, they already talk about her. But wait, why does it sound so weird? Are you serious? If that document is really useful, then you should give it to us. Why give it to that stupid girl? Yeah, I want to pass the midterm test too. Chill girl, the documents I gave her are just fakes. I just want to teach her a lesson because she will regret always bragging about us. Girl, you are so smart, haha. <laughs> oh god, what should they do? What did they give Susan? I can let this happen, by all means, I have to talk to Susan. That night. What are you doing in my room? Your room is on the other side. Susan. Are you going to cheat on the midterm exam? I heard that you received something from your friend. What? How do you know that? Are you stalking me? You shouldn't do that. That's not right. It's none of your business. Let me alone. Please, just hear me this time. I will help you study. Your friend is just trying to make fun of you. What he said makes sense. They've never been nice to me. 
It's suspicious if they suddenly help me like that. Why do I need to believe you? Because I'm your brother, I will never hurt you. Okay, I believe you this time. You better try your best to help me. Yes, finally, I will help you get an A on the midterm test. Then both Charles and Susan study together for the midterm exam. A few days later. All right, class, there are 30 minutes left until the time is up. Please look forward to completing your test soon. Ha ha, look at her. She is pretending to take the test. I bet she's hiding the paper I gave her somewhere. Now it's time to prank her. Teacher, I want to tell you something. What's wrong, Sassy? I think that Susan is cheating. What? what? No, I'm not doing this. I swear I see she is using something. I said I'm not. You have to believe me. Okay, girl, just calm down. Susan, I know you're not happy that I'm doing this, but can you let me check your seat? I just want to do this to be fair to everyone else. Yeah, I understand. You can check that. But if you don't see anything, I want Sessie to apologize to me. How do you think, Sessie? Do you still want me to check her seat? I agree. Okay, Susan, you can continue to do your test. I don't see anything. What? No way. She must have hidden the paper somewhere. I think you should say sorry to me. Teacher, please check it again. Believe me. Sessie, why do you keep saying that Susan cheats? Because I prepared it for her with my own hands. There's no way she could do her test without using it. Oh my god, Sessy, what are you talking about? Just shut up. Oh no, I'm wrong, pretend you didn't hear anything. So this is the reason you keep telling that Susan is cheating? Sessy, come to my office immediately. The rest of you finish the test. You, how can you do this to me? That's all your fault. Excuse me, this is your own confession. I didn't force you. Remember, you still owe me an apology. Take responsibility for your actions. From now on, we are not friends anymore. The next day. Mom, Dad, do you see what it is? I got an A for my midterm test. Haha, -ha, you two can't cut my money anymore. Now I can buy anything I want to. Haha, -ha, I'm so excited. Good job, you really did it. Wow, this is amazing. I can't believe you can do it. See, nothing can make it difficult for me. Honestly, I couldn't have done this without Charles. Charles, I know I've misbehaved with you before, I'm sorry. And also thank you for being willing to help me. So, can you forgive me? I know I can't change it right away but I will try every day. Please, give me a chance. Everything is over, of course, I will forgive you. From now on, let's focus on your study. I believe you can do this. Oh my god, I'm so happy to see you to getting along like this. Oh, come on, mom. Today is a good day, so let's go celebrate. Haha, -ha, let's go. The end. A random day at Lucas's house. Hey, s how annoying. I still can't win the lottery. And I ran out of wine. Jesus. A mouse. Go away. I need more money. Meanwhile, Helena. Well, let's see. I'm wondering what food we will have this evening. A pizza box, huh? We'll have some leftover pizza for dinner today. Oh, what the? Cockroaches. Go away. Get the hell off me. Jesus. What on earth is wrong with you? Why are you screaming? Cockroaches. There were some cockroaches in this kitchen, Patrick. And we ran out of food today. What on earth did you just say? That must be a joke. How? What is that smell? Can you feel it? Yeah, it's the smell of hot dogs. Come on, let's go. At a random hot dog cart on the street. Wow. They look tasty. Welcome. Do you want to buy some hot dogs? Um, so delicious. I'll take more of these hot dogs. Hey, what are you doing? Give me the money. Are you kidding me? Do you know that you're selling food around my area? It's obvious that you have to pay me to do business here. Pay me $20.
Otherwise, I'm calling the cops. Is that so? Try to do it. I'll send you to meet your ancestors right away. Oh no, he's ha- Ha ha ha. Good riddance. And this is just a water gun. Lol. Thank you for showing up at the right time, baby. Great. We have food for dinner already. Mom. Mom. Dad. I'm home. What are you doing? We just turned something to eat. Lucas. Here you go, son. Have a hot dog. Haha. <laughs> Thank you. I love hot dogs. Eat up, son. Wow. That thing look interesting. Hey, son. Where are you going? At a nearby lawn. Ginny, do you like this toy? Yeah, I love it. I can play with it all day. Oh no, I want that robotic owl too. Why do I only have this ridiculous paper crane? How unfairly. What's the matter, son? You want that thing, huh? Yes, of course. All right, you'll have it. Hey, you little children. What? Give me that thing. What? what? Why? It's mine. My brother bought me this. I'm not giving it to anyone. Who are you to command us what to do? All right. Let's do it another way. Now what? What, what the? A, a gun? gun? Let's, Let's run. Ha ha ha. It always works. Pick them up, son. They are yours now. Yes, mom. Ha ha ha. Thank you, daddy. This is great. I love this toy. Another time. Hey, Patrick. We ran out of money again. Any solution for that? Are you serious? Why are you asking me that? How am I supposed to know? Jesus, how useless you are. Well, look at yourself. You are even more useless than me. So zip it and stop complaining. What? How dare you? Mom, Dad, please stop arguing. Hey, I have an idea. Lucas, follow me. What? Me? Yad, follow me if you want us to have some money and something to eat this evening. Hey, don't do anything stupid and drag Lucas into trouble. Fine, fine. At a random bush on the street. That snack van seems easy to rot. All right. I'll take the risk. Dad, what are we going to do? I need you to distract the owner of that snack van. I'll take the money. Understood. Yes, Dad, I guess so. Follow me. At the snack van. Hey, you little kid. What are you doing over there? What do you want? Are you trying to steal something? No, no. I'm not trying to steal anything. You have a great van. All right, which snack do you want to buy? Well done, Lucas. Keep distracting the seller. I, ah. Uh, What's the matter with you? Just talk seamlessly. Goat, this is enough. Let get out of here. Oh crap. Huh? What was that? <coughs> hey, you. Oh no. He stole my money and my products. Holding right there, you thief. It's time for me to escape. Halt. Why must you run? Are you trying to escape me? No. What do you mean by that? You're that guy's accomplice, right? You were distracting me so he could steal things from me. Let me go, please. I don't know anything at all. Don't try to lie. Speak out the truth. And where is that guy? Tell me. Otherwise... I'm sending you to the police station. Oh no! Mom, Dad, help me! You don't want to say anything, huh? Fine. I'm taking you to the police station. Come on, move your legs. No, please, let me go. I know nothing about that. You stubborn kid. But suddenly... Hi. Hi. What's going on here? What do you want with this boy? Huh, son? What? I'm not your son. 
But you have a birthmark on your neck. Get out of my way. He and his father stole my money. What? What, what the? the? Oh no, he escaped. Why did you interfere? Now he is getting away with my money. Sorry, how much did he steal from you? I'll pay. Three hundred dollars. Okay, here. And I'm sorry. What a crazy day. How annoying. That boy. Where did he run to? Back to Lucas's house. Thank God. Hey, Patrick. Where's Lucas? He is captured. What? Are you kidding me? No. But why must you be concerned? He'll escape for sure. And the most important thing is that I have the money here. Give me that money. No. This money is mine. Just shut up and give it to me. I know how to spend money better than you. Then get yourself out of the house and earn your own money. Mom, Dad, please. Stop arguing with each other. I'm begging you. Shut up, Bo. Don't interfere with us. Oh, oh no. no. My money. What are you waiting for? Go out and find it. Unfortunately, they lost the money. Uro, this is even more than enough. Lucas, you moron. That was all your fault. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't want our family to be tense. Shut up. We will kick you out of our house. What? But I'm your son. Please don't do that. Hoo hoo hoo. You are not our son. What? That's right. You are just a random child we picked up at the landfill because we felt pity for you. No, it cannot be. Flashback. Hey, can you hear that? Yeah, I can hear a baby crying. That's just creepy. Oh my god, a baby. The boy is in danger. Over there. Hey, you stray cat. Get the hell away from the baby. Go away. It's okay now, kid. Stop crying. Come on, let's bring him to the police station. I don't think so. What do you mean? We can't have children anyway. Why don't we adopt him? Helena, what do you say? Yeah, I think that won't be a problem. Anyway, adopting and raising it will not make us poorer. So be it. Back to present. That's all that happened. No, I don't believe it. You're lying. Believe it or not, it doesn't matter. We're still kicking you out. No, Dad, please don't. <laughs> Ouch! Hoo hoo hoo! What on earth just happened? Here you are, you little thief. This time, there is no one around to save you. Oh no, this is bad. Come on, I'll take you to the police station. They will put you and your father in jail for stealing. Please, spare me. Don't send me to jail. Are you kidding me? Follow me. Enough! Let me go. Don't be stubborn. Excuse me, what's going on here? Let they boy go. What, sir, you again? I gave you enough money already. Why are you still messing up with him? I'm trying to make our society cleaner. He needs to be put in jail. Okay, all right. That's enough. Please take this money and leave. I'll take him from here. Fine. Are you okay? I'm okay, sir. That was the second time you helped me, sir. Who are you? Why did you keep doing that? You remind me of my long lost son, boy. Can I know your name? My, my name is Lucas Bradley. What? Really? My son name was Lucas too. How interesting. But hey, why are you here? It's late now. You're supposed to stay home with your parents. I have no home now. They kicked me out after telling me that I wasn't their son. What? Aren't you joking? No, why must I joke about that? Excuse me, sir. Good evening. Kid, waiter. What's the matter, sir? It's too dangerous to walk around the street at this hour. Get in the car. I'll drive you to my home.
You can be there for a few days. What? Can I? Yes, you can. Thank you, sir. At Mr. Robison's house. Wow, what a fancy place. Is this your house? Yeah, that's right, boy. Oh, I guess you're hungry already. Wait here, boy. I'll get you something to eat. Thank you, sir, but I haven't known your name yet. My name is Edward Robinson. You can call me Mr. Robinson, boy. I see. I got it, sir. Here you go, boy. Eat up, then tell me a little bit about your life. Yes, sir. After having his meal, Lucas told Mr. Robinson everything about his life. Were you telling the truth? Of course, sir. No offence, but I must say that your parents are pretty toxic. How could they teach their children to st Those behaviours are wrongdoings. Anyhow, they have raised me for almost ten years, even though I am not their child. I am grateful to them. That's understandable. But sir, can I ask you something? Okay, what's the matter? You said I looked like your long lost son. What does that mean? It's a sad story. His name was also Lucas, and he looked exactly like you, boy. But he was stolen from me. What? Why? I used to be so poor, and my parents were seriously ill. My wife couldn't take it, so she divorced me to follow a rich man. Not to mention that she later broke into my house and stole my son from me. She took him. Why didn't you report that to the police? I didn't have enough money to do so. I used all the money I had to take care of my parents' funeral. I'm so sorry about that. It's okay, it's been a while. And now, for some unknown reasons, I really hope that you are my son. Why? Just because I have a birthmark on my neck? Yeah. Thank you for saying so. But it might just be a coincidence, because other people may also have a birthmark on their necks. Well, I think that's enough for today. Get some sleep, boy. Your room is over there. Good night, Mr. Robinson. Good night, Lucas. But by the middle of the night, Mr. Robinson tried to investigate something in secret. Ouch, what was that? I'm sorry, boy, but I need to know something. In Mr. Robinson's room. I am a doctor. I'll find out the truth about Lucas. I hope he's my son. The next morning. G Good morning, Mr. Robinson. Good morning, Lucas. But hey, where are you going? I bothered you enough. Excuse me, sir, and thank you for your kindness. No, you don't have to go anywhere. From today, this place will be your house. Mr. Robinson, what are you kidding about? Sorry for pulling your hair while you were sleeping. I did a DNA test on your hair sample. You are my long lost son, Lucas. What? Come here and give me a hug, son. Oh, okay, sir. It's so hard to breathe. Please let me go, sir. Oops, I'm sorry. Are you sure about that? Well, I am a doctor. And who else can I trust if I don't even trust myself? I still cannot believe this yet. How could I be so lucky? Ouch. Hey, stop it. What are you doing? Why are you slapping yourself? Sorry, I just wanted to make sure that I was not dreaming. Okay, come with me. We will have breakfast and I'll buy you some new clothes. Come on, let's go. Wait. In the early stages of living a wealthy life, Lucas was still a naughty boy. Hey, the two of you. What, what is, is that? that? Give me that robot and that teddy bear. What? Why must we do that? Because I'm telling you to do so. Do you know who my father is? We don't care. Go away, you rich boy. Okay. Hey, what are you trying to do? Give them back. Yeah, dream on. Ha ha ha.
Ouch! Who did that? Huh, Dad? Why did you do that? Give back their stuff and say sorry to them. You are a doctor's son now, so act like an educated person. Dad, but I... Do it now. Here you go. And I'm sorry for being rude to you. I'm sorry, children. I will teach him better. Okay, thank you, sir. Excuse us. Young man, you're in serious trouble. Oh no, what punishment is waiting for me? Mr. Robinson didn't use the hard way to punish Lucas. But the boy had to face the wall for hours until he realized his mistake. Hoo hoo hoo, I was wrong. Dad, can you please forgive me? All right, turn your face around. Tell me, Lucas, have you realized your mistake? Yes, Dad, I already have. Okay. Listen up, son. We are all humans, and humans make mistakes. But you can never use that to justify your wrongdoings. Always try to do the right thing. Understood? Yes, Dad. I will remember that. Good. You are not being punished anymore. It's dinner time now. Yay! Another time. Wow, hot dogs. They look tasty. Welcome, boy. How can I help you? I'll get to hot dogs. Hey, what are you doing? Are you going to eat them before paying money? Yeah, is that a problem? Son, have you forgotten what I taught you earlier? Being an educated person and always trying to do the right thing. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. How much for these two hot dogs? Eight dollars. All right, I'll pay. It's okay, Dad. I'll pay by myself. I have pocket money. What? How did you have pocket money? Every time you give me money, I always save a little instead of spending it all. Well done. All right, give me the money already. Oops, sorry, sir. Here you go, Dad. Thank you, son. After a while of being taught by Mr. Robinson, Lucas became a better boy. How are you at school today? I'm good, Dad. Remember what I told you earlier? Yes, Dad. I should be a good and smart kid, not a bully. That's right, son. Huh, those two seem familiar. Excuse me, Dad. I'll be right back. Hey, son. Where are you going? Hello, guys. Huh? Who are you? Do we know you? No, not really, but yeah. We know each other. What do you want? I want to say sorry for my behavior earlier. I shouldn't have stolen your toys. And I'm returning them to you. What? what? Here you go. Guys. Hey, I remembered. That's him. The one with bad parents. His dad threatened us and robbed our toys. That's right. I remembered it too. It's only him here. I'll teach him a lesson. You have sinned, and now prepare yourself to take the punishment. Oh no. Calm down, boy. What? Who are you? Let me go. Wait, give me just seconds to talk. I am his father, and I'm sorry for what he did to you. What? How, How could, it, could be? it be? This is my real father. The one that you met earlier was just my adoptive dad. Listen, boys. You shouldn't repeat someone's mistake. And if possible, please treat them altruistically. Here, you can take this money as your compensation. You have the apology of my son and me. Brother, I think he has a point. We should forgive him. At least he said sorry to us and even returned our toy. Fine, okay. Thank you for helping me, Dad. Let me speak to them. Okay, son. 
I've changed. Will you forgive me? Okay, okay we will. We will. Shall we befriend? I think I've got no problem with that. Yeah, if my brother says so, I will say the same thing. Great. Huh, what's happening over there? Oh no, this is not good. Hey, son, where are you going? Back to the snack van one more time. Great. Nobody is here. I must hurry up. Jesus. Only more than $200. Let's get out of here. What the? Not again. I've lost count of the times I got robbed during this time. Oops. I have to run. Hey. Come back here, you thief. Give me back my money. I seems like I escaped. I must keep running. Holding right there. You are not going anywhere. What the? You little kid, who on earth are you? Get the hell of me. No. I called the police already. What? Get out of my way. Ouch. <laughs> the game is over. Surrender now. Oh no. I'll take off your mask. Who are you, man? No. No. Don't do that. Oh crap. Huh, Mr. Patrick? Lucas, you moron. Why did you stop me? I'm going to jail because of you. Shut up. What happened? Is anyone injured? Nope, so calm down. Officer, he stole my money. Can I take back my money? Okay. Move your legs now. No. 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 Let me go. Please. My wife needs me. Save your words. You can say at the police station. Thank you, kid. You helped me. It's all right. Now, we are even. I hope you won't want to send me to prison anymore. Sorry for causing you trouble earlier. What? It can't be. Are you? Enough. Your money was returned to you. Go back to your place. Okay, thanks. Son, did you get hurt? No, Dad, I'm okay. You did the right thing. And that was brave, my son. Let's go home. A reward is waiting for you. Yes, Dad, let's go. Patrick was sentenced to four years in prison for robbery, but more than two years later. Patrick, get out of your cell. You are released earlier than your prison term. What? Really? But why? Stop asking. Or do you want to be in that cell for a few more years? Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Okay. Thank you, officer. Follow me. Yes, sir. Find a proper job and live a good life, Patrick. Stop being a thief and stealing things for a living. I understood. Okay. It's good to be back. But I'm wondering who helped me. Patrick, I missed you so much, dear. Hoo-hoo-hoo. <laughs> okay, calm down. Welcome back to society, Mr. Patrick. How? Lucas, what are you doing here? Did you help to get me out of prison before my term was up? No, it wasn't me. It was me. What? Mr. Robinson, can I know the reason? You are not my son's biological father. But you and your wife have raised him for years. My son and I feel grateful to you too, so I decided to repay you. Oh, thank you, sir. By the way, I have two offers for you both. How? Uh, what could it what be? What could it be? First, I'll give each of you one job in my company. Patrick, you will join the security guard team. And you, Helena, will join the office janitor crew. Really? Thank you so much, Mr. Robinson. Thank you one more time for helping us. All right, one more thing. I'll give you some money. You can use that money to pay for living expenses until you receive your first salary. My God, thank you, Mr. Robinson. 
This is even more than enough. We won't let you down. All right, just keep your word. Patrick and Helena have changed for the better since that day. And after three years working at Mr. Robinson's company, they have retired and have a snack van of their own. One ice cream cone, please. I want one stick of cotton candy, please. All right, okay, children. Calm down. I want a box of popcorn, please. Give me a PBJ sandwich, please. Okay. Give us a little time to prepare everything. Here you go. Thank you. We, we love, love your, your snacks. snacks. All for the same price of two dollars. Here, Here you go. go. Thank you. Bye bye. See you again soon. Hello. Good afternoon. It seems like you are doing so well with your new job. Oh, Mr. Robinson and Lucas. Good, Good afternoon. afternoon. Do you want an afternoon snack? No, thanks. We were passing by, so we came in to say hello. That's very nice. And we must admit that earning money in a decent way is not easy, but it makes us happy. Thank you for giving us a chance that day. All right. It's good that both of you are now good people. Continue trying harder to gain more in life. Thank you. Yeah, we will. Excuse us, we're leaving now. Son, say goodbye to them. Goodbye, Mr. Patrick and Mrs. Helena. I'll come back another day. Wait, I have this for you. Here you go, Lucas. Your favorite snack. Wow, thank you. This is really nice. The end.